this is the Frisbee Authority, it's Brandon, and in this video, it's just going to be a couple minutes, really quick one, I'm just going to show you guys how to remove the uh, best skins ever, or any other shields from your device, but this is the best skins ever. I just finished my review of it, so I'll put that up right before I put this one up. I am only going to remove the back, because the front, I'm going to try this, I'm gonna, next I'm going to do the slider. And since it's not covered on the front, it should still fit with the front one. I tried it, it does not fit with the back piece, but it should fit with this. Because the case really doesn't go on the front, so I'm hoping it does. So on this video, I'm just going to take off the back. If it, doesn't, if it does not fit with the front, I'll do another video where I take that off. But, like I said, this is just going to be the back. It is really easy, guys, so it won't take me that long. So, let's get into it. You know the back's on here really well, and all you really have to do is just pe like peeling off a sticker. This does come off with no residue. I've taken it off my phone before, and it n leaves nothing. So here it goes, guys. I'll just pick this corner because it's arbitrary. Start at any corner, and just find a little, a little peel, and start peeling it up. Excuse me, guys. And you guys see it's peeling off. You know, they say you really can't use this after you peel it off because it is like a really, it does stretch it out when you peel it off. But I actually took it off my phone, my invisible shield, off of my phone once because it was just bothering me so much. And it was after, it was like after a couple days. And it actually did go back on really well without, you know, having to get a new one, get a replacement. So you may be able to keep this and use it later if you really want, like. I mean, if you're going to buy this, you're probably going to leave it on. I'm just taking it off because I have other things I have to review. But I'm, I am going to keep it in case I can use it again. So this, the corners are like, have a little cut in them so they can uh, go on. So you have to kind of peel both off. And be careful when you peel the corners because, like I said, there's that little cut right there. And if you peel one side, you might rip it or it might start to rip. A little harder than the phone because of those little corners, but it's not that bad. Once you once you get it, get a good grip on it, you can just start peeling it back. It's funny. It has like a mark. So guys, there it is. Came out really easily. You see the iPod in it. That's funny. So guys, that was my little, uh, removing it, uh, see you guys in my next video. Hey guys, I'm back. I had to stop the last video because my mom was coming up and she wanted to talk slash annoy me. So, here is, uh, just, I guess, the second part of that removal of the back. I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like after removing it. You guys can see it is really smudgy, so I'm going to clean it off with the eye clear. It's the first grade, guys. Definitely go buy it if you have an iPod or any Apple devices. Just wipe it off. And make sure you get it good. Make sure you can take a dry part. And, you guys can see it's really good condition like no scratches there are a couple hairline ones that were there before I put on the shield you know those are inevitable you're gonna get them but there's really no more scratches at all looks really nice and that's pretty much the ultimate goal of the shields guys is you know to keep your device protected in this case the iPod Touch 2G so keep it you know protect from scratches like I said in my review there are you know, no shock protection or anything, but it, it does what it says. It keeps it protected from scratches. Even if it gets scratch, scratched itself, which it probably won't, it does get, it does protect your device from scratches completely. Except for, like I said, on the review, it might scratch the corners a little bit, but mine weren't scratched at all on the chrome. And one more thing I wanted to try in this video, since it's so short, it was going to be, I guess, a little unboxing of this slider case like I said I had this because there's really no, not much 
to unboxing it. It's just the box and the case. They don't include anything. That, that's in case. It's kind of policy. They don't include anything. Uh, take that off. They just have a p cardboard iPod. There's nothing inside there. So here it is. Here's the in case lighter. I just wanted to try it with the back off and see if it still worked if I had the front um, best kids ever on, which I do. So first I'm going to take this and use it to get any dust out of the case it might be because if there's dust in there it will scratch your iPod especially the back and I used the micro chamois for this because it's really good at picking up dirt and stuff because of its texture so if you have the eye clear use that to get dust out and I'm just gonna slide this in guys put the top one on first it just slides on and guys that's working before it didn't work at all with the back on and it's a little tighter at the end, but it, it's like that even without the shield. You guys see, there's the, that part. It's on. And you just take the bottom piece. And slide it on. And guys, that fits really well. The front is not really affected at all. Because it does cover the chrome, but not the actual front. So it shouldn't be affected by the invisible shield. And I will try this case out for a couple days and do a review on it. I'll sure it'll be a great one because I know everyone loves these sliders. So guys, that was just my little removal of the uh, best guns ever on the back slash uh, in case slider unboxing and putting on the iPod. Uh, please, you know, rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to. You don't mean you don't have to. I, I would like it if you would, but if you don't, if you really don't like my videos, just I mean don't subscribe. And I will do a giveaway at 150 subscribers. I'm not sure what I will do yet. It will be a case, not a skin or anything. It will be a case, but I'm not sure which one yet. Depends on what I get from companies. So, you know, just keep on, you know, subscribe if you're watching this video, if you want to win, because you have to subscribe to be eligible. That's like my only policy, you know. Subscribe to be eligible. eligible. And I guess I will see you guys in my next video, which may be an unboxing, because I am expecting a package soon or review of this. So, uh, see you guys in my next video.